outbreak that shook New Zealand was deadly. The Prime Minister had this update a little while ago. Uh, sadly, on the best information we have, there have been two fatalities. At this point, we're unable to give you precise information of what caused those fatalities. But as soon as we have better information, obviously, we'll come back to you. I uh, want to thank uh, everyone who's supported uh, New Zealanders along the way. There's been a huge number of people here, for instance, in Wellington that have been evacuated from uh, hotels and the likes, and we've been putting those into the response centres. For instance, here in the Beehive, we've been confident about the facilities. It's important that people to continue to follow the, the messages that uh, will be broadcast during the day. The quake generated a small tsunami, but the overall tsunami warning has been downgraded. New Zealand's Civil Defence Ministry now says only the northeast coast of the South Island remains under threat. The 7.8 magnitude quake struck almost 100 kilometres northeast of Christchurch. That city was devastated by a much weaker quake five years ago that killed 185.